Hey guys, so <laughs> it took me two days, two days to scrub this house, but I washed the walls, the windows, everything. So everything is done. I try to do it every three to six months. I know it's only been two months since we've moved in, but I had to. It was horrible. By the way, if you see my dry skin, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I need to have a moisturizing mask or something because... I haven't been able to wear makeup because it just wants to cake and it's just gross. But anyway, so without further ado, here it goes. <laughs> I'm hoping that my camera work is better because in all honesty, I tried to get my other camera to work and it just wouldn't. And I know my camera at work is like horrible and I hope eventually that I can get a better camera. So anyway, here we go. The kitchen I bleached the trash can then I took pine saw and did all the cabinets inside and out rearranged I did bleach on the countertops I didn't do a whole lot because obviously there's still stains and I just had them wiped down and there's already crud but anyway let me turn on my light real quick I have burger buns out to thaw because we're having hamburgers tonight but anyway I didn't put my dishes away just because, like, they're clean. What does it matter? My son's birthday cake is still sitting out. Anyway. I did all that. All this is clean. Like I said, I did organization inside and out. Well, obviously, I can't organize out, but all that. Um... While I'm doing this, I'll just go ahead and do a video on like how I do some of my organizing. Well, no, I think I'll wait and do that later. But anyway, so clean countertops, just organized. The only thing that's not really organized very well are those cabinets over here because there's just like there's just so much stuff. I got some stuff hanging on there. All that like that here in this bag is extra silverware I just don't yeah so anyway oh I just tripped over my register mm. I clean out the refrigerator and freezer like I said I don't have a whole lot of food well I guess it's a lot better now than it was this little blue basket here I have in there and I fill it full of waters anyway it's like all my food all those cereals course popcorn then on my freezer stuff my freezer is full can you believe it oh my sugar starting to drop I'm gonna have to eat so I started giving him I don't know if you can see it half a cup of cat food because I was told by the pest control guy that roaches love cat food and dog food so keep all that put away I didn't know that so I just started giving him half a scoop and whatever lasts, lasts, and whatever doesn't last, I put it away at night. He sleeps most of the night. He's a weird cat. I swear he's so weird. Like he sleeps most of the night. He sleeps in my bed or with my son. So he doesn't really eat. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning though, you can best believe he's in my face. Mom, mom, mom. So anyway, and yeah, it sounds like he's saying mom or mama. It's so cute. Anyway, it's my window seal. I clean the microwave inside and out nice and clean in there I had that all nice and organized and my husband came home and just threw his bag over there men my kitchen table my little lazy Susan it's so pretty it's got like butterflies on it and stuff right now I keep my mail on it I have a chip clip on the cat food bag because you know the pest control guy told me I haven't had any problems in this house but I'm trying to keep it that way. You just don't know. Like I even have bug spray over here that I spray once a week after I scrub and clean. Right here. So and that's where I hide my extra paper towels. <laughs> anyway, let me go turn off this light because if not, my light bill is going to be through the roof, and I'm going to be hearing it from my husband. I know. I have a lot of friends I've talked to, and I say their husbands griped about it too especially for a stay-at-home mom but most of the time 
my sister and my daughter will swear that I'm the vampire because I have this house usually locked down. I have the windows and blinds closed, the drapes are pulled, everything is dark in here. <laughs> and I never turn on the light. So it's usually really dark in here. But anyhow, my recliner, and yes, it's my recliner. Little thingy. I don't smoke anymore, but this is a very, very old, very antique ashtray. Um, and it's got a magazine rack underneath. Oh, sorry, that's my son. He's out on a bike ride. Um, so then, my cat tree. My clean um, entertainment center. Listen in the 80s again today. All my movies, bookcase is clean. Couch is all nice and tidy. I moved all the furniture out yesterday and vacuumed underneath everything. Only thing I didn't move was the bookcase and the entertainment center. Entertainment center. Oh my god, that shit's heavy. And then this, it's falling apart. The bookcase is falling apart, so I don't move that. But anyway, clean the hall. I need to organize my shoes and put away what I'm not wearing right now because that looks like crap. Anyway, um, sprayed everywhere, everything. I don't know if the boys' bedroom still clean. It was clean earlier. Anyway, nope, it's a mess again already. But they had it clean last night. Well, um, actually, they were playing Avengers. Oh, okay. Yeah? Who won? No one. There was no Captain America anymore. You killed him? No. Oh. He just, he didn't want to fight anymore. Okay, so who are you? I was Thor and I was Hulk. Well, of course you're the Hulk. You love the Hulk. Who was Gabe? Uh... He was Captain America, and then he was Thor. Oh. Okay. And then I turned into the Hawk, and then I turned into Thor. Oh. My poor boys have girly sheets because their boy sheets are dirty. I have the Avengers and stuff like that for them. I need to get washed up. So anyway, like I said, I need to organize all that. All that's clean. My cat litter box, sorry about that shot. It was clean. <laughs> so my countertops, y'all saw yesterday how like gross and everything they were. I moved everything off clean because my husband, girls, let me know if your husbands do this too. My husband has a habit of waiting till I scrub the whole counter, everything. And then he comes in and he shaves and I get little bitty hairs all over my brand clean or brand newly, brand newly cleaned bleh, 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 counter. I get so mad. Anyway, so I moved everything. Got all the little pieces of hair off everywhere. Hi. Yep, Connor's talking to y'all. Say hi, Connor. Hi. Yep. Oh, let me put my toilet seat down because I don't want you to see that. But I cleaned over here. I got this little tower thing right here at Ross for like $16. It was originally like $50 or $60. Yeah. The shower. Hi. Organized. Nice and clean. So, and I never close my shower curtain in here anymore because what's the sense of it? Um, this tub is brand new. I'm going to tell you all right now, this tub is the hardest thing to freaking scrub because everything wants to stick to it. You got something to say? No? Yeah. <laughs> mom. Okay, you know, he didn't say mom this time. He just said, yeah. So, um, let me turn off the hall light real quick. Ooh. Until I clean with bleach. I've got a headache. Sorry about that. I almost up the nose shot. <laughs> anyway, so it's my room. All nice and clean. Y'all see my love of sloths. I love sloths. Oh my gosh. You just don't know. I had this one up. I've got to take all the tape off of it. I paid $50 for it. It's the really cute one. See? He fell a couple nights ago. Scared the shit out of me. I gotta get it framed and everything. What the hell? Oh. There's that carpet sprinkle stuff. <laughs> anyway, I keep dirty clothes in here. But, yep, everything is clean. See my pretty dream catcher? I think I showed y'all before. I don't know. I don't ever remember. So, oh. Plug in the nightlight here. Gabe needs to scoop that cat litter. Woo! So anyhow, 
That is my clean little home now. Oh my gosh. And yeah, it took me two days because I didn't get finished with the kitchen until four o'clock, 4.30. And I started at one. Then the living room took me until six o'clock. I started around about 4.30 because I don't, I don't break. If I break, God knows I'll never get back into it. So anyway, I just kept going and going. Finally about six o'clock, I said, okay, I'm done. Then I had to start supper. I did a really quick meal of raviolis, the like bad raviolis. Man, if y'all have an Aldi's, go to Aldi's. I forgot what that brand is called, but they have bagged raviolis, they're frozen. And I got the mushroom truffle. Oh my God, so good, so good. I got two bags and oh, there's leftovers in the refrigerator and I can hear them calling my name. So good. I don't know if my husband actually took it to work though. He might have. So anyway, then I no longer get that done. I did dishes. After I did dishes, I had to go do laundry at the laundry mat. I get home. I get home about 11. I didn't like, and it's really gross, but I just didn't even shower. I basically just fell into bed and fell asleep. I was so exhausted. So, oh, Connor's got all this all. Those little mousies on here. He gets them wrapped around and stuck. It's cute. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my clean little home. I will do a um, organization later on because I have a small kitchen. And trying to organize that small little area is like, oh my god. I'm used to having a big kitchen, or if not a big kitchen, at least a bunch of cabinets and drawers and a pantry. And I didn't have any of that. So, I'm exhausted, y'all. I think I deserve a massage and a week's vacation in the Bahamas. So, anyway... I hope y'all enjoyed these series of videos. Like I said, once I can get my camera back up and running, then I will definitely do like editing and stuff. I'll have to learn how to do that because I'll have to put all that on my husband's computer and learn how to do that. He has a, uh oh, it ripped out some of my hair. He has an app called GarageBand or something like that that he has on his computer and he it helps like edit stuff so he's gonna teach me how to do all that and then hopefully I'll start posting more I don't know exactly what I want to do with this channel I, I know I do makeup tutorials well very 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 amateur makeup tutorials um, I do like my hauls like my Marshalls haul um, cleaning and everything like that I just like showing that there's different levels to stay-at-home moms than just raising kids. I know a lot of people are like, well, they stay at home. What the hell do they do? We do a lot. <laughs> and that's why I had to tell my husband, we don't get days off. We work 24-7, 365. We, I don't know about other moms, but we, you know, me and a couple of my other friends, we just don't complain. We do a bunch of different things and we just cook, clean, raise kids, do laundry, and some of excuse me some of us are into crafts and arts and stuff like that and some of us are into makeup and hair some of us are into fashion it's all different there's different things I love to read um, just different things like that I like to decorate I love interior design and decorating and stuff like that so my daughter told me the other day I should have went to school for all that and I'm like hmm I could have I should have. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. So make sure if like you guys are young. Hell, don't even worry about it if you're young. If you're even in your 50s, go for what you want to go for. Don't let your age hold you back. Don't let other circumstances hold you back. Because eventually you're going to look back and go, shoulda, woulda, coulda. And I'm going to tell you right now, I would rather have at least tried and failed than never tried at all. There's just like, that's the only real true failure in my book as someone who doesn't even try. So, anyway, enough of the life lessons. I'm going to go. Um, I will...
Oh God, I gotta tell y'all. So my oldest son, he doesn't wear underwear. It's really gross, okay? I had to use a stain remover in his khaki shorts. It was horrible. I mean, it was gross. Very, very gross. I, I really wish the boy would wear underwear. Um, oh, he's back, so I better go. But anyway, I will talk to y'all later. I will definitely do, like I said, an organization video. Um, and then I'm, I still have to do the swatch video, like where I swatch all the new stuff that I bought at Marshall's. And other than that, I will definitely post again, hopefully sometime this week. I've got to figure out days to post, like what my easiest days are. I still haven't figured it out. But anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all take care, be good to each other, and be kind to yourselves. Love ya.